it's, it's very clear, and I love that you bring your kids into sports. <laughs> we'll have to have a kid competition. A kid off. Yeah, all right. So, <laughs> looking right now out and about downtown Portland, clear conditions, your temperature, still a very comfortable 75. Wind is out of the northwest at 9 miles per hour. Tomorrow morning, 6 o'clock in the morning, if your children are waking you up, hey, good news is you should have clear conditions at the north end of the valley. The south end of the valley, though, you might be waking up to a few shallow marine clouds. 8 o'clock, 64, 10 o'clock, 68, and by noon, we're at 74, 2 o'clock, almost 80. How are we doing right now? Well, we're still in the low 80s, out towards the Dalles. 75 for us here at the north end of the valley, low 60s at the coast, and mostly cloudy as well. Also seen some areas where visibility is a little bit low, right around Seaside and Astoria. Ah, uh, Richfield, 69 degrees here from our Alien A camera, looking out towards the casino there, and you have clear conditions. So here's the big picture for us. Noticing we have a lot of clearing just sitting offshore, a few very shallow clouds lining up along the coast. Next system, oh, it's on the way. What will it do for us? Well, let's first focus on tomorrow morning. Again, there are your clouds to start you off in the morning at the south end of the Valley Corvallis. Over to Eugene and heading into Salem. Now, look at that. Oh, that is tomorrow afternoon and evening. A chance to see thunderstorms central and eastern Oregon. Now, what about Wednesday night? Oh, we're starting to see perhaps a few sprinkles at the coast. Right around Seaside and Tillamook, you can see it right there. And then watch as that next system makes its way on shore, showing us a chance to have some rain that we can actually measure. That will be Thursday morning all the way through about 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And then I'd say by about 6 or 7, most areas should be done with the rain, but it'll probably hold on to the western slopes of the Cascades there, right around Detroit and up towards Mount Hood for Thursday night, and then Friday we're back to mostly sunny skies. Now, let's take a look at those rainfall totals. How much could we see? It could be anywhere from absolutely nothing for the Dalles to a few hundredths of an inch Hood River. Portland, we might be getting up to about a tenth of an inch. Not expecting much to measure, though, for central or eastern Oregon, but the coastline. Hey, you might be able to pick up on uh, perhaps a quarter of an inch of rain. Now, for Portland, we only had five hundredths of an inch of rain measured for the entire month of July. Now, neither uh, July nor August is really a rainy month for us, but we'd like to have at least something, and it looks as though we'll get something on Thursday. Point 6 News will be right back.